Hello everyone and welcome to the first CX release video of 2024. I'm Jeff and I'm joined again by my colleague Tim. Hello. Hey Jeff, good to be back. How are you doing? I'm fine, ready for a new release update. Right, perfect. So as introduced, I'm Jeff, I'm the Marketing Cloud Automation Consultant. I'll be focusing on the latest features of Marketing Clouds. And Mars, this is not part of the next release that will be coming in the next video. So uh, stay tuned and Tim will guide you through Sales Cloud. Yes, and Service Cloud as well. All right, without any further ado, let's start with Marketing Cloud. Not a lot of features have been uh, added. That's of course because Marketing Cloud will be deprecated in 2027. However, stay, stay tuned for the Marsys releases, which will um, uh, have a lot of more features that can be useful for marketeers leveraging uh, SAP products. So first, let's kick off with the marketing expert, the one who is in the platform preparing for his next campaign. And uh, one way that he can collect uh, customer data is by using forms. And on that forms, is it now added the possibility to gather more information about possible products that a customer, a prospect, a contact can be interested in. So let's assume that you want to launch a next product brochure and you want to know which product brochure to send to which person. You can simply ask them via a form and next send out the product form. A form is, uh, is not alone. You also need a landing page where you can host that form. So on the landing pages, uh, SAP has now added the UTM parameters to your reports. For a marketeer, that gives you some insights in where contacts come from. Uh, was it via an email campaign? Was it via a social media campaign that they landed on the form and so on and so on. And it helps you to improve your uh, next campaign. So with that being said, I will uh, showcase this in a short uh, demo in our system. Uh, so I'm logged here in into the marketing cloud. And first thing I need to do when I uh, prepare my campaign is prepare the content of my campaign. And that is done in the content studio. And the first item I need to create, as mentioned, uh, is the form. So I'm navigating now to the form section where I prepared uh, a form here um, for this demo. So what is new on the form? The first three items should look similar. Those are very basic information. But on the fourth one, you see that I'm asking about some information about the product. And uh, here on the uh, left hand side, you can see that I chose product as an object. And I can here choose which products I want to include in my campaign. So let's assume that I want to send out a product brochure of all three product categories. So metal, iron, or wood. Then I just simply select all three of them. And then the contact can choose which brochure he or she would like to receive. So that's the first step. Uh, the second step is to embed that form into my landing page. And on my landing page, leverage the UTM parameters. So I know where all of uh, my contacts are coming from. Um, so I'm navigating to the landing page section. And also here I prepared uh, a landing page, a very basic one, where I will just simply show my uh, form. I add the logo of the company and I add a video to uh, capture uh, the contacts uh, attention. Last step is releasing uh, the landing page, which is already done, and then uh, launching uh, the campaign. So let's say that I launched it via several um, types of channels, which email is being one of them, uh, but can be others, social media, and so on. Um, I already filled in the form. The now under the interaction section of that context, I will be able to see that he um, indeed filled in the form which resulted in a website download but where did it come from um, that we can see by using the UTM parameters so i can see that it was related to this campaign which was an email campaign and then the last question is which product was he interested in and then i scroll down i can see that he was interested in the iron product category so very interesting feature, which you can use to gather more information on, on possible uh, prospects. 
So that's it for the expert. Then we have the administrator who is more uh, a technical expert who needs to uh, maintain the platform. And for him or she, I also highlighted three additional features. So firstly, the switching from groups to spaces and pages. That was already announced a long time ago, but now becoming very urgent. So if you haven't done already, please make sure that you switch to the new spaces and pages before uh, July because from that point on, you will no longer be able to use it and you will notice it in your system. Second feature is the automated processing of uh, temporary failed messages. So as an admin, you will notice from time to time a, a processing of a payload doesn't happen because the contact is locked or temporary issue. Now you can depend on the error, select, please wait for five minutes and try to reprocess it again. Do that for three times. If not, go into error, which for you as an admin will result in less errors that you have to monitor manually. And so uh, time-saving uh, action. And then lastly, the upload of event participants based on a simple Excel file. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory. You download the Excel file, you put in some data, you upload the Excel file, and you know who uh, attended uh, the latest webinar on uh, the SAP6 release, for instance. So that's it for Marketing Cloud. So over to you, Tim. Excellent. Thank you, Jeff. I'll take over for the SAP Sales and Service Cloud features. Starting off with checksum email format. Now, when you used to send an email from the system, uh, the system would check for the email um, format, if it was correct. Uh, however, if the format was not correct, it was a bit unclear um, that it was incorrect, um, which led to a few uh, unclarities in the situation, whether email was or wasn't sent or why not. Uh, SAP has improved this now by including a very clear uh, message in the UI when the format is incorrect of the email address. And also in the outbound email work center, uh, there's a new column with the status text also indicating if there's any issues with the uh, email format. Moving on to the next feature, which are improvements on the opportunity value selection. Now, when you used to assign an opportunities to a sales quote, uh, default filtering was always on the account of the sales quote. Um, so you would have to manually remove this filter and start looking mm -hmm. for the correct one. Um, and now the enhancement is that you can create your own default filter, meaning you can skip the basic filter and start off um, quicker by finding the right account that you need. Now, looking at the future, SAP has uh, released a new tool to make it easier and quicker to transition to the new intelligent sales cloud, aka the V2 system. Um, with this tool, you can set up a connection between uh, sales and service cloud and the intelligent sales cloud and transfer uh, many objects that are already supported such as business partners organizational management uh, products activities and uh, opportunities for example and probably some new objects are going to be supported soon as well uh, there's also some new features in the add-ons such as the intelligent sales execution one of them being that the pipeline and forecast can now be filtered by revenue start date uh, where it as opposed to that, it was only the close date of the opportunity where you were able to filter on, meaning you can now have a more relevant view of your uh, opportunity pipeline and forecast. And finally, uh, we have the new feature, the range selection in fiscal period picker, meaning uh, that you used to be able to select only one fiscal period, being a month or a quarter, and now you can select multiple, again, enhancing the flexibility of the system, ensuring that you see everything you need to see in your pipeline and your forecast. Thank you for listening. That'll be all from us. Um, be sure to tune in for the next release, which will be in the spring with a bunch of new features, um, in any case from a March, as we expect, yes. and uh, we'll keep you informed. Thank you very much.